Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is a uh, trader just spawned. <laughs> nice, a wandering trader. Uh, yeah, this is Double O Debbie, and this is episode twelve of Ocean Block. Sorry for <laughs> the distraction. He's gonna kill his poor camels. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I might have to just uh, find a place for him to stay because, yeah, I don't know that I like him wandering around my island. What if he steals something? Like that piece of grass there. Oh, wait, that's Henryman. Um, first thing, I want to get rid of some of this, so I'm going to go ahead and make this up as high as I can. Imperium. Is there one more? Yeah, Supremium. Okay, because I like having my <laughs> uh, crafting table there, and 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 I haven't been able to use it because all that stuff was in there. So let's go ahead and get our rewards for all this stuff. Pink laser lens. Let me zoom. Ten seeds. Terra steel leggings. That's better than the man of steel. Ooh, there's even the insanium. Oh, I got the ten seed. An inter tank. I believe we got a couple of those uh, from a. Uh, a barrel. Also, I made a large crate out of two big crates. Uh, had one on the smeltery and one up by the the sluice system. So I made those into a large crate. So now we can get that. Even though I looted one early on. Nether seeds. And I made the storage scanner. The way it read in the manual, it made it sound like you could access inventories from this one uh, device. And I, I tried it out. I can I can figure it out. Uh, simply get. Oh, it has to have power. Simply give it power, place it down, and mark each container you want to access as routable. Simple as that. Click for a stack. Shift click for a single item. Well, I guess I should have read that. And also, I made a void upgrade. Globetrotter Sash. I think that's the one where the longer you run, the faster you go. Uh, Okay, so, boop, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I thought I had a couple of intakes. Maybe that was in my other playthrough. So that was actually quite good. Boop, boop. Oh, uh, <laughs> I have the mob system shut down right now because I'm... Uh, in the process of trying to get a filter on that so I can uh, start voiding like things like uh, the bows and stuff like that. So <laughs> I actually died in my mob system because I forgot to turn the fans off before I went in uh, to put the dispenser in there. I had a bucket of water and some of this uh, got destroyed. How did I get that through that? I guess if I just wait long enough. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to turn the fan off and I just got stuck. I couldn't do anything other than go, oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, so yeah, I died. 
So I uh, want to get a pipe with a filter on that. I'm not sure if going with the pipes, the mod filter is going to be the best way to go. I haven't, I'm not really sure all of the mods that are on in this uh, mod pack. So I'm kind of holding off to see if there's something a little bit easier than like uh, 36 redstone and some diamonds. Uh, anyway, last episode we were trying to get blaze powder and I oh my uh, I moved this little setup down here and gave it its own little um, lava system. And when it gets full, it stops. I had, I had these hoppers on top, but the pipes were connecting to them and filling them up with lava. Uh, so I, I moved them down a little bit. Actually, let me do this. This will make it to where I can see how much cobble is in there. That's better. Because it's not like a full barrel. It's only like eight more stacks. Uh, so I did in total with what's in here uh, like four, four stacks of crushed basalt. Yeah, it prioritizes this one, which is fine. Oh, we got another debris scrap 33 more <laughs> 33 more to go and I set this chest uh, set this pulverizer to auto input and output and it's auto inputting and outputting through the top so it just uh, takes things from the top pulverizes it and puts it out through the top probably not the best I probably could put one over here in case uh, I checked the crushed netherite nether rack and the crushed salt do not pulverize into anything else so that's good so this thing has been going and it made us quite a bit of blaze powder already got enough for our little Oh, so I need another, yeah, you can see right there, it says 0FE, right there. I should have, I should have seen that. Okay. Also, something else I wanted to do is make this multi-servo press, and then we could make blaze rods out of the blaze powder which can be uh, useful for things like making ender tanks um, so I don't know how easy those are going to be to get to get to in the nether uh, which we need to go to soon so let us get our jetpack. I know this is going to empty it out, but okay. Use. We need these uh, block of redstone. I should. Um, can I do this through here? Yes, I can. Awesome. There we go. Oh, I want to make a cooking pot too. Uh, I almost used up the half a stack of apples that I had, and I decided that I would. These golden carrots are even better food than those apples. Um, the apples uh, don't give as much saturation. These carrots give a lot more saturation. So it's. It, heals me up better when I 
<laughs> with that mob system shut down, I keep getting Endermen teleporting over here, stealing my grass. I, I actually got a, a block of grass. What did I do with it? I stuck it somewhere. He was, he was trying to get away with my grass, and I wasn't having any of it. And while this armor is good, it's not... It's not really great. Did I put it up? Here it is. There's my grass block. <laughs> I did get it back, but it, it hurt. <laughs> it hurt. I didn't have my shield in. Should put the shield in. Uh, sorry for the sidetrack. <laughs> I keep remembering things. Um, okay, where was I? Just made those so I can make the thrusters now. Ooh, that's going to be 10 diamonds. Definitely going to be worth it, I think. There we go. And Shazam. <gasps> Diamond jetpack. Now this, this little thing, uh, oh, Oh, it's not producing anything because it hasn't been using it. It's had those rubies for quite some time. It's all done over here. Might as well go stick this in so it can be smoothed. Oh, we already got a, a blaze powder back. Nice. Um, I set up another one here, so now I have one for all temperatures. I have the high temperature low temperature and the no the no temperature and the low temperature so yeah <laughs> I, I believe there are other temperatures too oh that's going to take about 4 million that's like 10 times more than the other one it's a tier 3 backpack does this turn into anything? A netherite one. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of netherite. That's 10 netherite, 14 netherite. Wow. But it holds 20 million RF. Oh, I could put a diamond chest plate on that, but I like having the O2. Um, so yeah. Um, what quest did I get? Oh, the mystical agriculture. I got another seed. Oh, a big crate. That's nice. I like that. Uh, I have since determined that nothing is going to go into the crate that I had sitting here. Um, I'll, just put it, I'll put it right there for right now. I want to move this down. I might do that in between episodes. Move it down here somewhere, like over in this corner or something. Uh, maybe put, put the sluice in the corner and then put the the drawers over to the side so it's not behind it. I, I kind of have to tiptoe around to get over here to some of these. Also I need to make some some more emerald upgrades because these guys are about to start getting to, to be full. Uh, <laughs> Now, unlike the, the iron, I can pull stuff out. Um, I don't think anything else is really close. No, it's just those four. Oh, and Essence is getting up there. But I did make some emeralds. I made quite a bit. And there's more sweet 
had a stack of nuggets up there turned into clusters and oh got four stacks of iron out of that oh look it tells me compact equals stacks what will that do will that turn my iron into iron blocks it didn't do anything but okay so this is pretty cool so I can go it at 20 blocks it sees all of that uh, the oak drawers up there so did i didn't i mark it yeah there it is this one is the one that has iron in it so if i have it give it power and i mark it as routable i can pull out from here and then just throw it in <laughs> i know it's lazy not wanting to walk up the stairs um, but anyway we haven't done any exploration explore exploration explosion uh look he killed one of his llamas what i want to do is i want to go down there's like a ravine right here i want to check it out and look look at how amazing all this coral is look there's a cave there I wonder if that's filled with water. I don't know. Um, I have an idea about how to put power in this. Maybe. I, I'm scared to use it unless it's absolutely necessary because it's got uh, energy. It also has a temperature. Whoa! <laughs> that was uh, come out of water like that. There we go. Landed on top of it. Boop. Give me up. Why can't I go up? Uh, there is an, an energy cell that you have to make in order to make that. So let's look at I wonder if I have one of these with power in it in my inventory. Will it work? Will it charge it up automatically? I have it in my hot bar or something. It's pretty easy to make. Boop. Now I can charge it over here. Let's put it in here real quick so we can test it out. One percent. Okay, well, let's let that charge for a bit. Also, uh, the key line for the, the hover is normally H, but that's for the hat mod. Uh, so I just, I moved the hat mod, I think, to shift H. No, was it control? Oh no, I think I did. The apostrophe. <laughs> Come on, why can't I get out? Push escape. So, H, H is for hover. Uh, I'm going to leave that on because that's nice. Um, J is to turn it off and on 
And then I believe there was V. I don't know what E hover is. I have no idea. Uh, it's, it's off though. Maybe that's something you get with the netherite one. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's turn that off because it it's really hard to go downstairs when you have a uh, jetpack on. I wonder if I turn hover off and I go down the stairs, does it... Okay, so... Alright. I like having hover on though. That way if uh, something bad happens and you vein mine your world and <laughs> you can you can sit there and hover while you watch yourself fall. Okay. Um, what was I working on before I got distracted? Oh, we were gonna do some exploration. Six percent. Wow, that has taken a long time. How's my fuel now? Better go grab some more. All these charges. Uh, let's grab a whole. Oh, I don't need two stacks. I just fill it up. I still want to make that press. Uh, that will be a good, a good thing. So it, it's not that hard, except I need to make Constantin. Con, is that how you say it? Constantin uh, and bronze. It takes bronze ingots and Constantin years, which is nickel and copper one for one. Uh, you get two constant 10 out of that. So if I need eight, I'm going to need four copper. I can't. The only bad thing about this is you can't mouse wheel out items that you want because that scrolls. <laughs> There's my, no, I don't want invar, I want nickel, nickel. Ooh. Something I don't have a lot of. Oh, I see. So that just kind of squashes the stack. It doesn't turn it into uh, blocks. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just wandering around aimlessly. I need to turn this off and watch the constant tan. Oh, I also need bronze. So I believe that's one, two, three. And a ten. Now I wonder is I know this is like an old recipe. No, it has to be in the smeltery, I guess. There's our eight ingots. Let's go ahead and put that in, and that'll cover the two bronze that we need for that. There we go. Now we can turn it back on get our stuff. So I can make this. Oop. Oops. And oh, we made the diamond jetpack, so I can get rid of that. Uh, machine frame. I'm so not used to that. Uh, Oop. 
iron block, boop, constant tan gear, oh, I gotta get this stuff out of here. Oh, I'm out of, but it says I have one right there. Okay, try it again. Not missing anything. Awesome. Woohoo, now we got the press. Um, I am just going to boop. I like booping. I'm sorry. <laughs> so now we can take, I think it takes three. What am I doing? Three to make one. It's working, it's working. Yes, it takes three. Awesome. So now we can get a brewing stand and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, there's the multi servo press, a windmill. So now we have a windmill and a water mill from immersive engineering. Yeah, it would be nice to get some uh, passive power gen going. Something that I don't have to monitor, like gems. Um, also, I have a mycelial generator. I'm tempted to see if there's another mob grinder that doesn't count as a player and then I won't have to filter out all that stuff um, yeah oh my chest is completely full ah. awesome oh let's go ahead and sleep there we go yeah, I had a lot of levels on me when I died. I had like 170 because uh, there was a giant experience globe in there that it, it had gotten full uh, and I got close enough and it absorbed. Also, I disconnected this. I can easily jump over. Boop. Boop. So... We got our jet pack, and we got a uh, multi servo press, and we got lots of things. Oh, I wanted to do a cooking pot, but we'll save that for uh, another episode. Anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!